Hello everyone, I'm Lao Lu. Today, I want to tell you an extremely inspiring story about the sword light that split the sky. Not long ago, at 4.45 a.m. Beijing time on June 6, the Long March 6 a carrier rocket soared into the sky from the Taiyuan Satellite Launch Center. As the rocket boosters burned fully, the high-speed ejected materials rapidly condensed in the air, instantly forming a spectacular rocket cloud. The scene was like an invisible giant sword cutting a bright trajectory through the blue sky, splitting the sky in two. This is the unique violent aesthetics of China's space program, just like the magnificent scene of a sword chi piercing the sky described by ancient poets. This is no ordinary astronomical phenomenon, behind it lie countless stories related to dignity, development, and a nation's perseverance in pursuing the stars and the sea. Do you know? On the path of space exploration, China has not had an easy journey. Once, when the United States shut down GPS, it directly led to the failure of all China's missile launches, plunging our military operations into great difficulty. It was an extremely tough time. At the critical moment, because our missiles relied on the US GPS navigation system, they lost their eyes and completely missed their targets after losing the signal. This was not the end. In 2003, China applied to join the EU's Galileo navigation system in good faith and even paid a full 200 million yuan. What was the result? We were ruthlessly played by the EU, and later banned from participating in all space cooperation projects. The taste of being shut out and discriminated against is believed to be unforgettable for every ambitious Chinese. But we Chinese have an unyielding spirit in our bones. If you don't let me participate, I'll do it myself. From then on, China's space program embarked on a magnificent road of counterattack. Without rockets, we started R&D from scratch, step by step. Today, the Long March series of rockets have been launched countless times. And this rocket cloud that split the sky is not just an ordinary result of a rocket launch, it's more like a powerful response from the Chinese people to those difficult years in the past. Next, I will take you deep into the hardships and glories of China's space program along the way, and see how China has gradually broken through, mastered core technologies, and achieved a gorgeous turnaround in the desperate situation of technological blockade. We will also compare the development processes of European and American countries in the space field to see what unique significance the rise of China's space program has. I believe that after reading this article, you will have a brand new understanding of China's space program and feel extremely proud of our great motherland. I had the pain of being strangled, the tragedy of GPS. In modern technology, the importance of satellite navigation systems is self-evident. It can be said without exaggeration that it is like the eyes of modern society. From daily navigation to the implementation of precision agriculture, and then to precise strikes in the military field, satellite navigation systems are everywhere. And once, most countries in the world relied on the US GPS system, and China was no exception. In 1993, the United States first shut down GPS, causing China's Galaxy cargo ship to be trapped. In the vast sea, the Galaxy lost its navigation signal, like a lost lonely boat, forced to drift at sea for many days, seriously affecting normal shipping tasks. This incident made China deeply realize that relying on other countries' satellite navigation systems is like handing over one's own lifeblood to others, and may face the danger of being choked at any time. In 1996, the United States repeated the same trick and shut down GPS again. This time, the impact was more serious, directly leading to the failure of China's missile launches. In military confrontations, precise navigation is the key to missiles hitting targets. Without GPS signals, missiles are like losing their sights and cannot accurately strike targets at all. These two incidents sounded the alarm for China's space cause and made China determined to have its own satellite navigation system. In sharp contrast, the United States relies on the GPS system to occupy a huge advantage in the global military and economic fields. Militarily, U.S. missiles can achieve precise strikes relying on GPS, greatly improving combat effectiveness. Economically, the global dependence of many industries on GPS also gives the United States absolute dominance in related technical fields. According to statistics, more than 200 countries and regions around the world are using GPS technology, 
from airplanes and ships to smartphones, almost all devices relying on positioning are inseparable from it. From this series of events, we can see how important it is to master core technologies. In international competition, without one's own core technologies, one can only be in a passive and beaten position. Chinese space scientists deeply understand this and have since embarked on the journey of independent R&D of satellite navigation systems. 2. Exclusion and Breakthrough, the episode of the Galileo system. In 2003, in order to break the dilemma in the field of satellite navigation, China applied to join the EU's Galileo navigation system and paid a fee of 200 million yuan. At that time, China hoped to learn advanced technologies and enhance its own strength in the field of satellite navigation by participating in the construction of the Galileo system. However, the EU excluded China at a critical moment. The EU not only refused to share core technologies with China but also prohibited China from participating in key project R&D. This behavior made China realize that in the field of space, relying on others is unreliable and only by relying on its own strength can it achieve real development. Facing the exclusion of the EU, China did not give up but decided to increase the intensity of independent R&D and build its own satellite navigation system. At the same time, European countries did not have a smooth journey in the construction of the Galileo system. Due to technical problems, funding shortages, and other issues, the construction progress of the Galileo system was once delayed. In contrast, although China also faced many difficulties in the R&D process of the Beidou satellite navigation system, it continued to make breakthroughs by virtue of tenacious perseverance and innovative spirit. Starting from 2000, China has successively launched multiple Beidou navigation test satellites, gradually building its own satellite navigation system. After years of hard work, the Beidou system has achieved global networking, providing high-precision navigation services for global users. Today, the Beidou system is not only widely used in China but also exported to more than 120 countries and regions around the world, with expanding influence. Through the comparison with the Galileo system, we can see that China's space program has shown strong resilience and innovative ability in the face of difficulties and exclusion. It is this spirit that has enabled China to continue to make breakthroughs in the field of space and gradually narrow the gap with European and American countries. 3. The Long March Road the leap from nothing to something. The name Long March has a special meaning for China's space program. It symbolizes the Chinese people's Long March of 25,000 li and represents the spirit of perseverance and courage. In the development course of China's space program, the Long March series of rockets have played a vital role. From the initial difficult start to the fruitful results today, China's space program has experienced countless failures and setbacks. On April 24, 1970, China's first artificial Earth satellite Dongfanghong-1 was successfully launched, marking China's official entry into the era of space exploration. Since then, China's space program has continued to make new breakthroughs and mastered a series of key technologies such as satellite return technology, multi-satellite technology in one rocket, and manned spaceflight technology. In the field of space, European and American countries started earlier and have certain advantages in technology and experience. The United States achieved manned lunar landing as early as the 1960s, and the Soviet Union also made many world-renowned achievements in the field of space. However, China's space program did not flinch because it started late but gradually caught up through continuous learning and innovation. Taking the Long March series of rockets as an example, after years of development, the Long March series of rockets have formed various models to meet different launch needs. As a new generation of solid-liquid bundled medium-sized carrier rockets, the Long March 6A carrier rocket has strong carrying capacity and reliability. Its successful launch marks that China has made new breakthroughs in space launch technology. The development course of China's space program is a history full of hardships and struggles. It is by virtue of the efforts of generation after generation of space scientists that China has achieved the leap from nothing to something and from weak to strong in the field of space. This leap is not only a technical breakthrough but also a manifestation of national spirit. 4. The Obsession in the Cloud, the Confidence of China's Space Program Returning to the rocket cloud mentioned at the beginning of the article, this rocket cloud that split the sky is not only a visual shock but also contains the efforts and persistence of China's space program over the years. 
Hidden in the cloud is the stubbornness after being bullied and the obsession of a nation with the stars and the sea. In the past few decades, China's space program has faced many technical blockades and challenges, but every difficulty has become the driving force for China's space program to move forward. From being choked by GPS to the networking of Beidou, from being excluded by Galileo to space independence, Chinese space scientists have proved their strength with practical actions. Today, China's space program has made world-renowned achievements and is at the forefront of the world in manned spaceflight, lunar exploration, Mars exploration, and other fields. The construction of the Chinese space station has made China one of the few countries in the world with a space station. The achievement of these achievements not only enhances China's international status but also makes important contributions to human exploration of the universe. Compared with European and American countries, China's space program pays more attention to independent innovation and technical accumulation in the development process. Chinese space scientists know that only by mastering core technologies can they remain invincible in international competition. Therefore, China continues to increase R&D investment in the field of space, cultivates a large number of excellent scientific research talents, and forms a complete space industry chain. The confidence of China's space program comes from years of efforts and accumulation, from the mastery of core technologies, and more from a nation's persistent pursuit of the space cause. This rocket cloud is like a business card of China's space program, showing the world China's strength and confidence. Finally, I hope everyone can continue to pay attention to the development of China's space program and praise our great motherland. If you have anything to say about China's space program, welcome to leave a message in the comment area to discuss.